Clark. It's Saturday. Got the twins are chilling back at the house. This is the start of a new thing. I did a vlog a couple of weeks ago with Christine and I got a lot of great feedback from that. I'm gonna start doing some vlogs. We're so far behind on the adventures. I wanna tell you guys about things that are happening right now. It's the only problem I have with it is that I might be telling you things today, spoiling the surprise for a film that's coming out two weeks from now. So I'm still trying to figure out what to do about that. So a couple of things. We've got Victoria, she's on spring break, so we've got her for two weeks. So it's basically me, the twins, Drift and Kimber, in this little house in Big Pine Key. Big Pine is a very unique place. There's a lot of key deer. If you don't know what a key deer is, there's a special kind of deer in the keys, the smallest of the white-tailed species, and they come right up to you. Go say hi to them. Yeah. <laughs> Got you some antlers coming. Like me with this long <laughs> Alright, say goodbye to the deer, Victoria. It's time to go home. <laughs> do we have to? <laughs> Alright, let's go. We got a narration to do. Let's go. Kind of domesticated, I guess. You're not allowed to shoot them or anything, so they're, they don't really have any predators. Hey, buddy. Drift, don't be such a... <laughs> you scared the buck away. It's supposed to be really good reef fishing out here. Kimber, you got a 24 inch mutton? Woo! Freaking stud. Out here in Big Pine. Next two weeks, we're gonna be hitting it hard. It's been rough for the past week. It's rough today. It's like four to five foot seas at 20 mile an hour winds. I'm not gonna beat myself up or ourselves up, you know, when I know that there's gonna be some good weather coming around the corner. Girls are actually filming some narrations today. They're going to get their nails done and they're going to film a narration on Cabo. And then on Monday, we're filming a narration on Cabo for my channel. And then that's going to be the next series of films that are going to be rolling out next week. I have a present for you. These are my stickers. Oh wow, well, they're small, they're tiny. I thought they'd be a little bigger, but look at that. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Where I'm going to right now is Homestead. And for those of you that don't know Homestead, Homestead is a, the last town uh, or city before you embark down into the Keys. And I've got a storage unit there, but I have this box trailer that has all my like fishing stuff. I'm gonna pull out that box trailer and then head all the way back down to Big Pine. Tomorrow we might be spearing and filming, either tomorrow or Monday. I'm torn between letting this out and letting it play out in the films. But I don't know how I can do that. I mean, I, I can, but it's like hard to keep it a secret. We have a special announcement today. We have a new addition to the family that we'd like to introduce right now. And that is our brand new 2020 Mercury Verado 250. Woo, look at her. Holy smokes, man. Over there at Murray Marine out of Key West. Look how beautiful she is. Got a new throttle too. Oh man. All our boat breaking down problems have gone away. We went from a 2008 to a 2020. Couldn't be happier with my Mercury Virata. I got a new motor. I got a brand new Mercury Virado 250. That's it. I might as well just say it right now. 
And the reason I have a hard time saying that is because I have quite a few more films of my boat breaking down I plan on releasing. I guess if I was telling you the story in person, I could be sitting there with my new motor telling you about my motor breaking down. So maybe it's not that big of a deal. But anyway, I gotta break this motor in. I don't wanna just go out and start diving and not think about it and just run out to somewhere. So I really wanna just drive around for two hours and kinda break it in. So I might do that tomorrow with the girls. And while it's still a little bit rough, just kinda cruise around, see how she handles. <laughs> This is the sport exhaust on the brand new Mercury Brado. And that's without it. Woo! What's up? Hey, how you doing? We're filming an episode right now. You can watch it for Betty. Yeah? Like the content? Yes, sir. You know, I was there catching the wahoos and stuff. I'm fucking awesome. That's cool, man. Yeah, we're doing a narration right now for Cabo. It's gonna be starting next week. Okay, sounds good. Cool, man. Stay tuned. Thank you. That's cool. Sounds me. Fun ride. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of the motor though? Kimber, you see the new motor? Huh? You like it? Are you gonna put anything with the new motor in your your videos? No. <laughs> <laughs> And that's my trailer. Couldn't find my trailer hitch. I don't know where I went. Got the one to my boat, but not the one to my trailer. So I'm playing with fire right now. I'm driving with a two inch ball, and it's like a two and five sixteenth. I gotta go to the auto parts store immediately. Where's 
this auto parts store right down the street. Perfect. Here we go. Hey, it's always nice to get new toys. And there she goes. Koa's got a new hitch. Here's $10, man. Thanks, sir. Thank you. Well, that was kind of an interesting experience. I don't know where I'm at, but a little ghetto around here. What's up, man? I was asking what your fan was in your mouth. The camera. That's what I thought. <laughs> Back in business. Certain quotes on the YouTube show are never gonna get old, you know? Back in business is one, and what are you gonna do with all that meat is definitely another. Back in business. Yeah, Judah asked you what you're gonna do with all that meat. Remember? <laughs> 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 Thank you. So it ain't easy pulling up the Whole Foods with a big old truck and trailer. That's a show. Where the hell am I gonna park? Perfect parking spot right here. Look at that. Couldn't be a better parking spot. Absolutely perfect. There we go. I'm just gonna hide all this camera equipment. So you see that right there? That is what my company specializes in. Buildings that look like that. I can totally restore that building, make it look brand spanking new, using all our own products. Look at that glass. Nobody wants to lease up base there. And back in my previous days, I might actually go walk up there and try to talk to them get the information well I guess I'm fat and lazy I don't know but I tell you what if you're not fat and lazy you want to make some money and you see a building like that and you know somebody that knows somebody and you refer us there's a commission in it for you that's right a really nice commission too like big bucks i'm not talking about chump change i'm talking about depending on the project i mean buy yourself a new boat kind of bucks keep an eye out keep an ear out i don't want to tell you to go running up into buildings to represent my company but you see a building that needs to be restored and you say, oh, I know this guy, I know this guy. And uh, he can make your building brand spanking new. I mean, look at that. You see that? It's like, oh. That's what we do, prestorestore.com. And seriously, anybody that brings me a job, there's a commission in it for you. That just gave me a great idea. You know, somebody left a comment 
I posted a picture of Christine and they're like, are you kidding me, seriously? What's going on with the fish? What's going on with this, what's going? Man, we're working on it, bro, we're working on it, believe me. It's stressing me out, okay? I know, we need to get some content up. We're working on it. But it was a beautiful picture, Christine, come on. Take a moment, smell the roses along the way. It's not all about the fish. Another person said, uh, in referring to this picture, saying that it was a very iconic picture. Like a hundred years from now, people are gonna ask, you know, who this person is, and I agree. This picture reminds me of a National Geographic picture of that girl from Syria with those eyes. Can you see that? It's on my Instagram and Facebook with those eyes, man. It looks just like that. That look too. That's a really good pick, man. I just imagine what these videos are gonna be like when I'm 80 years old or 90 years old if I live that long. I'm sitting there I'm like, click on the video, I'm like, yeah, remember, remember that? Hey, look at me. Yeah, it's your papa who used to do that shit. Man, don't tell me about it, you know, think. Well, thanks for watching, folks. Another Driving Adventures of Judah Clark. And uh, don't even have Kimber with me. Got nobody. Just me. Me and you. We got each other. You know, at least we got that going for us. You know, don't let me down. I won't let you down. You won't let me down. Okay? We're bros. We're like this. We're like this. What's up? Oh, I'm naked. I'm naked. <laughs> Should I go put some clothes on real quick?